Okay, so we will not involve any PVT matching in the first case, but hopefully in the next case we can do PVT matching. Okay, so from from here we can click done. All right, and and then we will input the IPR data section. Okay, and here in inflow performance relationship, we have several reservoir models. The the most simple. The simplest one is PI entry. So we will create IPR based on productivity index. But we can also construct the IPR using Fogel equation or maybe using Darcy's equation, Fedkovich, or other correlations. But we start simple. We will apply PI entry. Okay, we will apply PI entry. And in this section, okay, the reservoir pressure, for example, 5,200. And then the reservoir temperature, 210. Let's say the water cut is zero, all right? And then the compaction permeability model, no. Relative permeability, no. Okay? And then let's input the productivity index. For example, the productivity index is five. All right. It's quite easy. And then in this case, after inputting the reservoir model, the, the productivity index, we can calculate. And you get the absolute open flow, AOF, or the maximum flow rate of 18,000. Okay, and then we can click plot results button. And for the X axis, the horizontal axis, we will plot the rate. And on the right X, the Y axis, the vertical axis, we will show the pressure. OK, and then click done. So we have constructed the IPR using productivity index. OK, so it's very, very easy. And if you have well test data, for example, you can input here test data. For example, in, in 28 April, for example, 2022, we can type in well test. The flow rate, for example, 6,000 stock tank barrel per day, and the pressure, for example, 4,050. And then we can click done here. So we input the well test data. For example, just for example, the, the most important thing is, of course, the IPR constructed using productivity index. All right, so far so good. Finish and then click done. And again, we can click done. And here you can see our IPR constructed using productivity index. And so we have completed the PVT data section and IPR data section. So, so far, it's still very, very simple, right? And the next section, we double click on this one. 